Harper Vigil tonight after a three-year-old girl and her father were killed in a hit-and-run crash in Long Beach. Now the community is calling for the killer to turn himself in. This is the Department of Alcoholic Beverage Control. Investigates the bar where the suspect was spotted moments before the deadly crash. Coco McAvoy joins us now live from Long Beach with new details. Coco. Good evening. There's a memorial set up here at the apartment building where the crash happened, killing the father and daughter. You can see the balloons, the candles, and the flowers. The driver slammed into the side of the apartment building here after he allegedly left the sports bar in the same neighborhood here on Rose Avenue. And now there's an investigation into this bar. A community reeling after a hit and run crash, killing Jose Palacios and his three year old daughter, Samantha. The girl's mother and her surviving son sitting quietly among the crowd, just feet away from the bottoms up sports bar, now facing scrutiny over the crash. I wish they could shut them down because this is not a this is not a good place. The suspect allegedly left the sports bar before the crash. Surveillance video shows his pickup truck veer onto the sidewalk and slam into the apartment building, killing the father and daughter. Now the Alcoholic Beverage Control Department is investigating the bar, but neighbors say the bar has been a problem. And a hot spot for speeding. They're over serving their clients all the time. Three or four in the morning, they're still at the bar when the bar should be closed at 2 a.m. And they're still over there partying till like six in the morning. And I seen them. Paloma lives in the same apartment building where the crash happened and was home at the time. It felt like an earthquake. She says her entire family, including her young daughters, are now traumatized with PTSD. He did damage to our hearts, to this family. So I don't like. I want him, I want this bar closed. Neighbor Vicente wants the same. He says I'm afraid of an accident or that something will happen at the bar because I've witnessed other times when people have died there. Bottoms Up Sports Bar declined to provide a statement or an interview Saturday, and while they face a state investigation, the community hopes the hit and run driver will come forward. You kill two people. You're still breathing. You're still eating. You need to turn yourself in. And neighbors say there have been a lot of problems at the sports bar. They say oftentimes patrons leave the bar and end up hitting some cars that are parked on the side of the road here. But of course, in this case, the driver ended up slamming into the side of the building. And police are still searching for that suspect. If you know anything, you're asked to call police. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Fox 11 News.